As the OHSAA wrapped up their baseball and softball tournaments today, the MHSAA is just getting started. Both sports playing their district semifinals and finals today. Plenty of action at Saline High School. First up, Monroe boys taking on Ypsilanti. Runners on the corner for the Trojans in the first, and that's Jacob Nadeau skying one all the way to the wall in center. That clears the bags. Monroe goes up five to nothing, and they weren't done. Jacob Henry here getting a bloop single, bringing Nadeau home, and they never look back. Seven to one, they advance to the finals. Bedford taking on the host school in the second game. A rough first inning for Mule standout Jackson Lamb. Down one to nothing in the first. As I mentioned, shot to the gap. Some confusion with the outfielders. That allows the ball to drop. Two runs come in. His nightmare not done. Throws two wild pitches, allowing two more runs to score. It was six to nothing after one, and Bedford knocked out nine to two the final. So Celine and Monroe go at it in the finals, and well, things got ugly for the Trojans. 17 to nothing the final. Brent Vaccaro throws a perfect game for Celine. On a softball where Bedford and Celine are scoreless in the six bases juice for the home team, but Bedford's Jesse Werner gonna get the strikeout looking. The game would go all the way to extra innings. In the eighth, Mules with one on. JC Swick grounding to short should be an out, but no, all runners are safe, and that's huge because next up is Werner, and she sends one to left. It rolls past the left fielder, a two RBI double for her, and the Mules advance to the final. So who would they play in game two? Just like the boys, Monroe taking on Ypsilanti, and just like the boys, the Trojans dominated. Bases loaded in the third, Alexandra Smith a bloop single here to left. Jordan Deal scores. Monroe wins big 11 to 1. That earns them a spot in the finals. And in the finals, Monroe tops Bedford 6 to nothing to continue their season. They take the district crown.